Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, we're going to have a look at M16mm Pack for DaVinci Resolve created by Motion VFX. It's a pack created to do a lot of different 16mm looks if you want to do like retro shots and stuff like that. We're going to have a look at what this pack is all about, how it works and how you could create your very own 16mm footage looking awesome. That's what this video is going to be all about. Hey, if you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and all of that jazz, well, I would recommend you to subscribe. Also, you could join our Facebook group because I want to do a community over there as well. And if you really love the content we're doing on this channel, you could actually just become a member of this YouTube channel, getting access to videos early than everybody else, special deals and stuff like that. So take a look at that. Look down in the description below. Well, with that out of the way, let's get right to this video. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're having a look at the M16 millimeter film look or stock from Motion VFX. And we're going to use this little animation right here, film learn share animation I just did. Um, just to show you how the effects work. And also this is a pretty clean animation it, and it doesn't really look special or anything. So if we're going to add in some 16 millimeter effects, this is going to look way better. So let's just jump over to the effects, to the effects here. And here we have the M16 millimeter film looks. And we have a total of 30 different looks of 16 millimeter, but we're just going to work with the uh, number one here. I'm going to add that in. Uh, one thing to note actually is that this is pretty heavy on your computing system. As you see right now, this is running with two frames a second until it's rendered. And it's just a very short little clip here. So it's, it simply need to cache the render a bit. It is a hardcore effect for your graphics. At least it is for my system. I'm on a Mac M1 Mini spec'd out, so... But, you know, a couple of runs and it will run just fine. The cool thing about this uh, pack here is if we go to the inspector under effects, uh, we can go in and we can actually change everything around. So, for instance, if we want to go into the prism blur here, we want to, let's say, use the blur strength. We want to make it a little, you know, less blurry. Is it is a bit blurry. We could do something like that. We can also use the abstraction distance and make some kind of things. And the cool thing again about this is we can actually use these different things because everything is key frameable. So let's say uh, from the beginning, I want to have this look here. I'm going to put in a keyframe. I'll go in just a little tad, something like that. And then I want it to be like normal. So now we have this little cool effect added on as well. It's just a cool little detail to make it more alive. Also, we could go in and um, we could add the threshold. We can change that around. We can use the gain and change the look. Also, we can change the glow size so we can make it very glowy or not as much, something like that. And then, of course, we could blend in all our options as we want. Also, we have grain where we can push the power of the grain. We can take it all the way down. It's a very clean look. But if we push up the grain, we're going to have this film grain in. And we can change the softness of this as well. Also, the size. So we can change like that. Also, the spacing of the grain we can change. Also, we have the film damage effect. We can just toggle it off so you can see what it does. It, it's making this damage here. We can add in the f focal factor as well. Geometry factor. All these stuff, we can actually change everything around. Also, we can toggle off and see what they added here. But um, we can change in the dirt, the size of the dirt, the blur of the dirt, and... Also the seeds of the dirt, so how much dirt we're going to have in. We can go into the 
scratches and add those in, change stuff around, make them more or less visible. And then we could go to the color settings and we could change around the colors as well, working with a different look in the colors. We also have leaks we can change around. And that this is being light leaked, so we can change this from left to right. And again, we can use the keyframes to, let's say, we can lift stuff here, put in a keyframe, going a little in, something like that. And then we want this to be like a normal, something like that. So we're going to add in these effects pretty fast with leaks, and we can change the contrast, the brightness, and all of those things. Also, we have a frame settings. We can take that off. This is the frame we have right here. So if we want to have the full screen or we want to have this frame look, we can do that as well. So I think this is a pretty nice pack if you are into the look of 16 millimeter film and it's very customizable. So actually I'll just show you all of the different looks using this example here. So you're going to have all of the looks right now. And of course, if you are interested in getting your own pack, take a look down in the description below. Okay, so that was a look at the M16 millimeter pack from Motion VFX. And again, I do think this is a great pack if you are a fan of 16 millimeter footage or the look of 16 millimeter. This is the way to go. It's super customizable and you can more or less make this fit your project just the way you want it.
Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share with your friends if you think it would help them out, and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.